What's going on guys? Matilde Vlogs is back. I know you're probably wondering what the hell am I dressed like this? I don't have a t-shirt, a Gymshark, an Alpha Lead hoodie on. Guys, it's around 5 p.m. I just got off work, so this is the first time I'm wearing this on my channel. But more importantly, we have two packages that we're waiting downstairs and I'm very excited to be sharing it with my audience on YouTube. Guys, this is the first time that I've reached out to a meal prep company and we are gonna be working together to do this review for you guys. So this is a Vancouver-based meal prep company. They deliver to your business, your office, your home, wherever you live in the Vancouver area. More details to come on this review. But they sent me seven meals. I'm not gonna review them all. I'll probably review about two to three to see the taste, the ingredients, is it worth it stuff like that but I'll show you everything that I got and unbox this for you guys on camera ultimately guys we are gonna find out is a meal prep company really worth it would you rather go to the grocery store prep the foods out yourself here at the kitchen spend two or three hours nail it all out in Tupperware or would you rather spend a little bit more money because it is a little bit more expensive and hire a professional meal prep company to deliver all the food that you want, customizable to your door, all you gotta do is microwave it. That's the ultimate question we are gonna be answering. The only way to find that out is if we try it and we go through everything, ingredients, pricing, location, um, every single thing. So let me get unchanged and then we're gonna start this review. <laughs> All right, so now that we have something more breathable to wear and out of my business clothing, let's get started on this review. First things first though, guys, as a disclaimer, I'm not sponsored, I am not paid. In exchange for a review that you guys are seeing today, all they did was just send me free meals. So if it's good, I'll let you guys know. If it's bad, I will also let you guys know on camera. Nothing but honesty on this channel, guys. You guys know that. So first things first, customer service. When they first showed up, they gave me a call. They rang me, said, hey, Mateo, we're here. So customer service on point. They don't just drop it off at your front door and then ditch you. So, and these are obviously some thermal bags. So depending on if you got cold or hot food, it's gonna say nice and warm or nice and cold. So the bags are good. You guys can use them for school, work, whatever, the beach, it's their nice bag. As I mentioned guys, they did send me seven meals, but Trinity, my girlfriend, did take one today. Don't worry, I happen to get it on camera, so you're still gonna see all seven. I'm just not gonna eat that one, okay? So let's put the bags aside for a second. So they come in nice, big bags. Depending on how many you get, you'll probably get more bags. Let's take each one of these out. They're all in like Tupperware. Okay, there's nothing written on them except for an expiry date. You're supposed to put this stuff straight in the fridge and it lasts about a week or so. And I'll go over the piece of paper that they send you. It's kind of like a receipt. It goes over what you ordered, all the, not the ingredients, what you pretty much checked out with online. And just from a visual standpoint, guys, let me just actually show you what we got here. Up close and personal. So we got six different food option, meal prep, whatever you guys want to call it, lined up right here okay and then they'll also give you i'm not going to show it's probably got some personal information on there but i'll read that out to you guys but as you guys can see here we got some sort of wrap which i'll go over soon another wrap we got some bolognese penne pasta with some vegetables we got some steak and mashed mashed potatoes we got some chicken wings some brown rice and some mixed vegetables and then for this one here it looks like we have some chicken breast and asparagus so i'm going to be taking you guys through the full website from going to their website selecting your food how many meals when it comes um, the ingredients and the meal portions everything everything will be laid out nice and quick but just to give you a little rough estimate on this piece of paper here it's just going to go through your address your name how many meals you ordered uh, the meal sizes these are all medium sizes they got small medium and large which i will get into and then it says the sauces the size the dressings the carbs veggies and proteins and then it actually lists out the meals guys so for instance we got the brown rice as the carb the stir fry mixed vegetables and the teriyaki salmon with a sauce with teriyaki so that's the one that trinity took today if we go over another one here guys as the carb source we got mashed potatoes i'm assuming it's going to be this one here we got roasted mixed vegetables and roast beef so apologize that's actually roast beef and it says what it is so everything is laid out right there you guys probably won't be able to tell it says the carb the protein source, the vegetable source, and then the dressing. Everything is beautifully laid out, easy. All right guys, so I just took out my laptop and we're gonna quickly, to the point, go over their website. So you're gonna load their website here. As you guys can see, I'm recording my screen. You guys can follow along. They got the Crave Healthiness logo on the top left. 
okay? So we got order now, we got meals and portions, we got about us, facts, sign in, it's very to the point, easy, step one, step two, step three, customize your meals, cook the meals fresh and deliver it straight to your house. They even got vegan options. Okay, so if we go to, first of all, you guys should go to meals and portions. You guys need to figure out what portion size you want. So as you guys can see here, we got small, we got medium, and we got large. The portion size I got happened to be all medium. So it looks like it's for sustaining, maintenance phases, okay? Lean down, look at the portion size. Very, very small compared to bulk up. You got probably double the amount of every single thing. It tells you three to four ounces, five to six ounces or 78 ounces. So depending on what your goal is, guys, it's very easily laid out right here. And then all you gotta do is order now. Okay, so it even says the calories. Anyways, guys, once you guys decide which portion you guys want, you go to order, it's very simple. <clears throat> Usually I don't like these because it just gets so confusing, but make your selection. So if you want vegan, hit the vegan, vegan menu. They only got one. If you want subscription, which is the basic one, what you're gonna do is, I selected medium, so I'll select medium, <clears throat> let that load. Okay, so now, this is what you're gonna be getting in each one. Four to six ounces of protein, one cup of carbs, and three to four cups of vegetables. Now, select how many meals per week. I selected seven, one for each day. Vegan, no thank you for me. If you are, hit yes. Now, this is very simple, guys. As of right now, they're gonna send you anything they want because everything's checked off. All the veggies are checked off, all the carbs are checked off, all the sauces, sides, and dressings, all the protein. For instance, I do not like, okay, go to, if I didn't want zoodles, which is zucchini noodles, uncheck it. If I don't like as a protein, um, beef burrito, unselect it. If I don't like marinara sauces or pesto and salsa, please uncheck it for your carbs. If I only like white rice and I don't like brown rice, unselect brown rice. You get the point guys, it's very simple. Select things you want them to make, unselect things you don't even wanna see, okay? Once you're done all that, you're gonna come down, put any requests or comments in this little instruction box here. For instance, if you have allergies or anything like that, or certain things that weren't listed on there that you don't want, hit it. Then you're gonna go add to cart. Once you get to the cart, guys, it's gonna say it's $97.93 for seven meals, okay? You got all the preferences right listed down here, no vegan, and it's 102 a week. That's including tax, okay? and everything's right here, you're gonna go proceed to checkout and everything's ready to go. It's that simple. Just to sum that all up, I know it may have been a little bit confusing or a little bit too fast, you guys can rewind and watch that again. But unselect things you don't want, make sure the selected things are things you do wanna eat and you enjoy, okay? And it looks like they already have predetermined meals. So when it said like teriyaki salmon, or it said like a certain chicken cook this way, it looks like they're already predetermined, and that's what I pretty much got right here. Um, so if you don't like roast beef mashed potatoes, don't select that, it's very, very simple. So I just wanted to show you guys in person what the meals look like. Apart from the two wraps over here, which I'm not gonna open up, um, and the one that Trinity took, which was the teriyaki salmon, that looked actually unbelievable. This, these, this food, guys, it actually looks pretty decent. Like I was just smelling them, they, they smell fresh, they smell really good. As you guys can see here, we have some bolognese pasta, pasta penne. We got some green beans, the roast, roast beef, mashed potatoes. It looks like I smelt it. It was like some Bombay chicken uh, or curry, some sort of curry rice with some vegetables and some white rice. And then the chicken nicely uh, seasoned with some yam potatoes and some asparagus. And all the sauces are all listed out on the paper. As I mentioned, guys, I just wanted to show you guys exactly what it looks like as close as I can get here, guys. The camera's actually pretty good, so it can, it can get pretty dialed in there. But you guys get the point. All right, guys, so what I was thinking was, every day that I do decide to eat a certain meal, I'm gonna whip out my camera, I'm gonna give you guys an honest, in-person, over-the-camera, check them out on Instagram, I'm gonna link them down right here, and uh, it smells good, customer service is good, you can't go wrong, and uh, it really just, minimizes the time wasted in the kitchen, guys. Um, to be honest, I don't wanna be cooking. You guys probably don't wanna be cooking, but you also wanna save money. So by the end of this, we're gonna see, is it really worth it? All right, guys, so this is about 20 minutes after I filmed that last clip. I'm obviously still wearing the same shirt, but anyways, guys, I got legs to hit in the next hour or so, so I thought I'd pick the best pre-workout meal out of all of them. Let me just show you what I got here. What we have here is the Tex-Mex roasted yams, we got the asparagus, and the Montreal spiced oven baked 
chicken. It honestly looks the best. This was probably the best pre-workout meal. We got the nice clean carbs. We got the nice protein here, no heavy sauces. They actually does, it actually does come with barbecue sauce. I'll probably dip it in, but let's just go with my uh, honest review right now. I've tried all these things a million different times. Is this gonna be any different? Let's take a look. Well, I felt. Seasoned good. It's honestly really good. Asparagus is good, guys. Yam, it honestly smells good. The thing with yams, it's very hard to um, season. Soft, that's actually pretty good, honestly. If it's bad, I would tell you guys, I would tell you, okay? Chicken breast. Okay, so, the one thing about chicken breast when I cook myself, it's never tender. No matter what I do, bake it, fry it, olive oil, butter, whatever. Very tender, yams are very soft, asparagus, these are all seasoned great. This was actually without the barbecue sauce. So, in my books, guys, Thumbs up. This is actually something I would order like 10 of these a week. All right, guys, welcome back to the next day. I'm about to head to the gym in the next couple hours, and I thought I'd record the second honest review on this video, guys. So today we have the garlic parmesan penne with green beans that I put on a separate plate. And then what we have here is turkey bolognese obviously in a red sauce now i'm just gonna add some extra cheese this did not come with the meal all right guys let's dive right into this meal i'll try a little bit of the green beans i'll try the pasta i'll try the turkey and we're gonna see what it lives up to be um obviously if you guys know i'm italian so i don't know if it's gonna live up to the italian standards but let's give it a try penne's penne you can't really go wrong with that let's try a little bit of the turkey now the seasoning is honestly really good guys um, it probably would take me a couple times myself to make this this good the penne I'm just gonna say anyone can make penne throw it in some boiling water it's ready to go but the sauce is actually really good mixed with that turkey it's really really good and uh, let's try the green beans right now green beans or green beans so this is one of the easier meals to make but given the fact that it's already done just got a microwave it. This was probably made two days ago, not even. And um, it's a great meal that you can just pick up anytime you want. At work, at home, before the gym, no matter what. Stay tuned for the third review coming tomorrow. Welcome back to another day, guys. And today we have the beef burrito in front of us. So this burrito here is just a beef burrito. It looks like there's obviously beef, rice, uh, I see corn, I see peas, I see carrots, whole bunch of vegetables in there. And then this sauce right here, guys, is the chipotle lime barbecue sauce. So this one actually looks really, really good. It smells good. I put in the microwave for like a minute. I don't know if I should have put in the microwave or not. I guess you could eat a burrito cold, but anyways, guys. And the other thing is I'm rocking the new Apex Ways hoodie. If you guys saw my last video that I posted, it was a clothing haul on this brand here. I went over everything regarding this. This is actually really good material. If you guys want to pick anything up, I'll put a link to that video below, but it's just my previous video. Easy enough. Okay, so I think it's uh, settled down now, but do you know when those burritos, you know when you pick it up, you're just like, it's gonna fall apart. So I'm gonna give a thumbs down on that, but I guess a thumbs up because they really load the ingredients. So it's kind of like a Chipotle burrito. They just jam pack that stuff, okay? I'm not too sure what I'm gonna do with this, maybe on top, but let's just, yeah, it's, it's already falling apart. So let's just give it a bite right here. Tastes just like Chipotle, guys. Sorry, I don't wanna talk with my mouthful. The only thing I'm gonna say about this burrito is it's a little bit on the drier side, but that's probably why they give you this. So let's add a little bit to the next bite. So I got the barbecue chipotle lime sauce. So this sauce makes a huge difference. I, I'm not a big sauce guy, but this is unbelievable. It's got like that barbecue twist with a chipotle lime infusion, unbelievable. This is really, really good guys. I'm not just saying that. I already gave it a thumbs down for it like it falling apart, but it's a burrito. What do you expect? So great job on this. So I'm gonna finish eating this, guys. I don't know if I'm gonna review any more uh, meals. If you do see me in the next clip reviewing a meal, it's a bonus. If not, I'm gonna sum up everything. Is it really worth spending your money and having it packaged to your door, ready to eat, just microwave? Are the ingredients really good? I'm gonna give you an overall honest, in-depth review on 
this company, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Peace. All right, guys, it's been a couple days since that last scene, and I jotted down all the notes over the last seven days that I want to go over and talk to you guys about. This is the moment you guys have all been waiting for. I want to break it down into two separate things here, guys. I'm going to give you an overall honest review on Crave Healthiness and their food, their ingredients, their portions, that company in general. I'm going to give you one review. The second review I'm going to give, guys, is a meal prep service. Wherever you guys are located, you guys got Icon Meals or whatever service there is, is it worth it? Because if you guys are new to the channel, I, this is the first time I've ever uh, gotten meals sent to my house. So this is a, a very good eye-opening experience to say, hey, is it really worth the money? Should I grocery shop myself? or should I hire a company to deliver food right to my doorstep? So let's get right into it. I don't know if I mentioned throughout the video, but as you guys saw, there was no uh, labels on the food and on their website, if you're a bodybuilder and you wanna know the macros or the calories, the only thing right now they have is the calories. However, I got an update throughout this whole week here, guys. The I don't know if it's the owner or someone from the company told me that they were launching something in January, but they're pushing it ahead. So from the day you're watching this, it's probably already implemented, but two weeks from the day I, I uh, make this video live, guys, they are putting a brand new macro-friendly calculator on their website. This is huge news, guys, because for my, for instance, if, if you're a bodybuilder or myself and we wanna know the macros because we are doing macros for a show or whatever it is, guys, we want to see those numbers. I know it's something along the lines of a calculator, um, so you get a portion out how much you want. If you want 50 grams of carbs, 50 grams of protein, and let's say 15 grams of fat in a separate meal, then you can do that all online. So that's huge news for that. I just wanted to get that out of the way. Now, in regards to Crave Healthiness, guys, let's do a quick review. First of all, meals were excellent. I cannot say anything wrong with those meals at all. It literally tasted like I cooked it in the kitchen. 20 minutes later, I sat down and I ate the meal. It was fresh, the ingredients were fresh, the flavors were all over the place, which is great. Nothing was bland. Um, everything tasted unbelievable. So if you guys live in the Vancouver area, I think they deliver, I'm not too sure, check out their website, but I know they do probably West Vancouver to maybe at least Surrey or Langley, I'm not too sure. If you guys are in the Lower Mainland, guys, check them out, their food is unbelievable. All right guys, so let's answer the question. Is a meal prep company worth the time? Is it worth the money? The money is obviously the main thing here because yes, you are gonna be spending more money. If you're gonna be buying a lot of chicken, a lot of rice and let's say a lot of broccoli, that's gonna cost you a lot less if you go to the grocery store and buy it yourself compared to if you hire a company, this company, any other company to package it. First of all, buy it, make it, prep it, package, deliver it. There's gonna be some added cost. So obviously the money is gonna be a lot more hiring a company. So here's the first pro guys. It is delivered straight to your door. You don't have to go to the grocery store grab all the vegetables, grab all whatever you guys need, come to the kitchen, prep it. We're looking at probably at least two or three hours now, uh, given all the circumstances. So this is delivered straight to your door, literally grab it, put it in the fridge, microwave it and eat it. So it's very time efficient. You don't have to do the grocery shopping and you don't have to prep it all in the kitchen. Second thing, it's stress-free guys. You guys know how stressful it is. You gotta go to the grocery store and then just cooking it in batches, in huge bulk, portioning it all out. Guys, stress free. I recommend this to someone. If you have the extra money, if you have a good paying full-time job, if you have an extra couple hundred bucks at the end of the month, this is definitely something I would recommend. That's the first thing I would do. Whatever you're putting in your body, that is pretty much what you are. You are what you eat. And if this could take away time from uh, the kitchen prepping, let's say you're spending an extra three hours per week prepping out all the food. That's now 12 hours in a month. Imagine all that extra time you guys, if you guys have children, if you have a family, spending time there. You can put more time into the gym, more time in cardio sessions, more time working on a side hustle or a hobby, whatever that may be. Time is money and if you have enough money to hire one of these companies to at least prep the food and deliver it straight to your door, you don't have to waste any more time. So that's pretty much my overall honest opinion, guys. If you have the extra money to spend, why not 
get some meals delivered straight to your door. If you guys have any questions regarding Crave Healthiness's company, their website, the ordering process, everything will be listed down below their Instagram, their website. You can comment any questions you guys have in the comment section. I'm here to answer them. I'm sure if you hit them up on DM or on their, um, they also have a frequently asked questions uh, section on their website. So everyone's here to help you guys. So hopefully I've also helped you determine which one's best for you. That's gonna be it for this vlog, guys. Thank you so much. Hit the subscribe button, follow my Instagram down below, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.